Hello friends, how are you? So I hope you all are doing great. So we are continuing with our discussion on RTP May 2021 attempt which has been postponed. But yes, the RTPs were already coming to us. Right? Ab attempt kab hogi? When it is going to be held? When the exams are going to be held? Nobody knows. Okay, so let's start with question number 10. And this question is on standard costing. Right? A very simple question of standard costing very 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 simple question let's see lm limited produces a product sx4 which is sold in a 10 kg packet the standard cost card per packet that means the standards given this is these are the standards given these are the standards for 10 kg because he's saying the standards are for one packet and one packet consists of 10 kgs right so you need to be very careful what he is saying he is not saying the standard cost for one kg he is saying the standard cost is for one packet and one packet contains 10 kg right so this means these standards are given for 10 kg direct material 10 kg at the rate of rupees 90 per kg 900 direct labor 8 hours at the rate 80 per hour variable overhead fixed overheads the budgeted output for the quarter was 10,000 kg and the actual output was 9,000 kg the actual cost for this quarter are as follows direct material direct labor variable overhead and fixed overheads you are required to calculate material usage price cost variance labor efficiency rate cost variance variable overhead cost variance and fixed overhead cost variance right very simple sir very simple what you have to do is you just have to prepare again what we have been doing tables right so you just have to prepare what you just have to prepare tables let's see let's prepare the tables now so the first we are going to calculate it for material right for material what we take is standard quantity for actual output right then standard price standard cost actual quantity actual price and actual cost now for the standard quantity for actual output now what is your actual output actual output is 9000 kg right now how to calculate standard quantity for actual output he says that for one packet that is for 10 kg how much of standard material is required 10 kg right for 10 kg it is required 10 kg then what is the quantity required for 9000 kg any doubt this will give me the standard quantity for actual output clear 10 kg for 10 kg of output that is one packet and for 9000 kg what will be the standard quantity standard price is 90 so the standard so standard cost is 8 lakh 10,000 right now what is the actual quantity actual quantity is given to you that is 8900 kgs actual rate is given to you 92 and actual cost is given to you 8 lakh 18,800 so it is not an issue right actual quantity actual rate everything is given to you 8900 92 and 8 lakh 18,800 right so this is the simple table for material so you can easily calculate all the variances from here material cost variance material price variance and material quantity variance you can easily calculate from all these figures any doubts right so this is the best thing you know if you can prepare a table this is the easiest thing that you can do in the standard costing right okay now sir moving on to the labor part let's see now you'll see for labor right now for labor again standard hours for actual output what is the standard rate then standard cost okay then we have actual hours actual rate and actual cost now standard hours for actual output he says for a 10 kg output that is one packet how many standard hours are required he says eight hours 
now what is the actual output the actual output is 9000 kg so you have to calculate the standard hours for 9000 kg sir 8 hours 8 hours for 10 kg of output right so for 9000 kg of output what will be the standard hours that is 70 to 100 clear right sir so what is the standard rate standard rate is given as 80 per hour so standard uh, rate is 80 and what is standard cost 5 lakh 76000 now what about actuals actuals are given to you 7000 hours 84 per hour and 5 lakh 88000 right so actual hours is 7000 actual rate is 84 and actual cost is 5 lakh 88000 any doubts any doubts clear so you can easily calculate the labor variances from here if the table is complete you can easily calculate the labor variances we have already discussed all the variances right sir now coming to variable overheads coming to variable overheads right now about variable overheads again standard hours for actual output standard rate standard cost then we have actual hours actual rate and actual cost right because we are based uh, what is the base for this the base is the number of hours right from where do we get to know that the base should be hours and not the quantity sir from here it is given 8 hours at the rate of 20 per hour so the standard is going to be the same that is 8 hours divided by 10 kg multiplied by actual output that is 9000 kg 7200 now the rate is going to be 20 so the cost is 1,44,000 what is the actual hours actual hours are given to you how much 7000 actual cost is given to you actual variable overheads are given to you that is 1,40,000 actual variable overheads are given to you that is 1,40,000 so the rate is going to be 20 right so from here you can easily calculate the variable cost variance he has just asked about the cost variance you can calculate the other any variance now after that fixed overhead cost variance sir because the fixed overhead only and only cost variance is required so even if we don't prepare the table we can do it right let's see so material usage variance price variance cost variance everything is clear from the table right labor efficiency rate cost no problem at all variable cost variance now fixed overhead cost variance simply sir absorbed fixed overheads that means what is on the actual output the overheads absorbed on the basis of the actual output right minus the actual fixed overheads this is absorption on the basis of the budgeted data so what is the budgeted data budgeted data says that fixed overhead is 250 for 10 kg right 250 250 is for 10 kg now what is the actual output for 9000 kg we can say 250 by 10 multiplied by 9000 this is what you have absorbed on the basis of the budgeted data this is your budgeted data so on this basis you have absorbed how much 9000 right 250 by 10 that is for 1 kg multiplied by 9000 this gives you the absorbed overheads right the actual overheads are given to you this is given in the question so that will give you the cost variance that's it if it is required in the fixed overhead then you can prepare the whole table right i think it's better you people can pre uh, prepare it and it's good if you can prepare it it's your homework i can say right you can prepare it nothing is no issues in that right on the basis of hours only you can prepare it no issues in that clear any doubts so this is one of the simplest questions i can say on standard costing one of the simplest questions but yes these kind of questions are asked in the examination and many a times you people can commit mistakes okay you, you people can write these down tables you want to material labor right and variable overheads 
clear see for anything the conceptual clarity is very very important okay now one or two important things uh, one lot of people are asking for the english lectures that we started but uh, we haven't continued we have uh, we have been doing overhead costing in that guys we'll be continuing that very soon right uh, some circumstances are like that which are not allowing us to uh, concentrate on that do the recordings for that right that is why even the rtp was not completed on time so uh, there are certain circumstances which are not allowing us to do that but we are definitely targeting that and we are committed to start that very soon okay i'm committed to start that very soon so don't worry about it another thing lot of people are asking for the ici sm study mat series in english right it is currently available in hindi on the mobile app so many people are requesting in english guys we are planning for that also very soon right it is i know it is a very beneficial series right till now many students have subscribed to who can understand hindi and they have literally benefited it from that so it is updated as per may 21 module and in english we are planning it very very soon okay so don't worry the english guys we are we do care for you people and we'll be coming up with all the lectures for you people also we really respect your feelings right uh, provided the circumstances really allow us to do that i'm really uh, committed to Com uh, complete the series on the youtube also and come up with the icism series also very soon in english right so even the rtp i am recording in english because so that everybody is able to understand even from the south indian friends are able to understand it they should not feel left out right it is very important to respect them so that is why we are recording everything in english a very simple english so that everybody is able to understand okay so this is about the standard costing now we are left with one question on the marginal costing very simple question sir and another question on budgetary uh, control right so we will be completing it very soon okay uh, whatever we have done till now until standard costing you must revise it must go through all the question once again right so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy thank you so much